Street raised, I was brought up with a G state. Peep game, those who didn't catch one to your brain. Stay in your lane, never wolf the boy, I never fake. Watch them break, watch them fall, still I remain. Never change, never try to come and rearrange. Never hate, never tripping on somebody's plate. That shit is lame, leave that type of shit for the dames. The streets don't play, oh catch up, watch your life as capes. One game, homie, that you shouldn't play. There's real soldiers in the streets gunning every day. This shit is normal in the vital part of every day. It ain't great, but I'm little, so I'll never change. I keep repeating, but I mean it, never lose your way. Heed the warning and the missing just for talking great. Fuck my enemies, two faces and all the snakes. Now for this matter, just name the time and name the place. We'll get it active, fuck the gap, and I mean face to face. We all gashes never fold, then we never shake. I was right up to. You are now watching MOD Entertainment. Now for starters, we shall be starting off in the west of Los Angeles, the west side. You already know, the west is definitely home to a gang of neighborhoods. You already know how Los Angeles does, bro. You know, and to be more exact, we shall be heading to the danger zone, you know, the MacArthur Pico Union District, you know, home to, you know, crazy riders, drifters, playboys, um, rockwoods, temples and diamonds and everybody and their mother. This is the danger zone, the chaotic area that people hear about, you know, is very notorious within this area. And this is what we'll be starting off with. Uh, the first batch of neighborhoods that get confused for each other. Um, one of the neighborhoods resides within this area, which is known as the Barrio BTLS. BTLS translating to Barrio Big Top Locos. Big Top Locos is a neighborhood that has been well established here since the 80s. The territory consists of everything that's from Alvarado to Sunset, Sunset to Glendale, Glendale to Temple. So everything that's in the middle is considered their barrio. Now, the Big Top Locos neighborhood was always roughly a small neighborhood. It was never a large gang. Um, they started off originally as a football team. Um, and the, how they got their name was due to the fact that there was a liquor store uh, within the area that was named uh, Big Top, which people, you know, would hang out and chill and do their thing, you know. So that's where they got their name from, you know. There were kids that played, you know, grew up in the neighborhood playing football. And, you know, the teams end up, come, you know, going at it with other teams. Fights turn to, you know, stabbing, stabbing, shootings. And you already know. It manifested into the neighborhood that we have today, like many other neighborhoods uh, within the time. Um, and this body originally started off with uh, five members um, and then growing up to as large as 60 members to them. So like I said, one of the more roughly smaller neighborhoods within this area due to the fact that there's so many neighborhoods jam-packed within that area. Just makes recruitment a lot more difficult. But don't get it twisted. These guys are still up, still representing, still doing their thing. You know, the BTLS. Don't get it twisted. Just because they may not be as large as their counterparts, that don't mean nothing. These guys still handle business. And like I said, um, this neighborhood has no connection to the other uh, neighborhood I'm about to um, speak on. Uh, the Big Top Locals is their own thing originally out of the west of LA and still continue to be right there holding it down for theirs. Now, to find the next batch of homies that gets confused for the BTLS neighborhood, um, we actually have to travel to Northern California to the area that is known as Tula County. Tula County is home to upstaters, upstate Sureños, you know, there's a lot of different neighborhoods up here. Um, to be more exact, we shall be heading to the area that is known as um, Orosi. Or 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 the area of Orosi is a small town uh, in Tula County, um, but that resides, you know, a you know, homeboy neighborhood that gets confused often with the Big Top Locos. This one is known as the BTLS as well, but these guys are known as the Big Time Locos. So the other ones are big top locals. These are big time locals. Big time locals is a neighborhood that has been well established here in Tula County since the 90s. Um, since then, it has spread throughout all of Tula County, not only Tula County, but also to different areas like Oregon. Um, and they, I also was told that they have a branch in West L.A., um, a more of a smaller branch. And this virus started in the 90s. So um, they um, come after the Big Top Locals. Big Top Locals is, came first, you know, because obviously they started in the 80s. These guys came about 10 years later in the 90s um, when this neighborhood was established. But the Big Time Locals neighborhood grew to a larger, more larger than uh, 
the big top locals because at least from what i was told the big time locals is a few hundred members to them because like i said they don't only reside in northern california but in different areas they are already spread out to different locations um you know and like i said they get confused with the other you know btls because you know they're both btls and there's not that much difference from big top locals to big time locals so you can see where the confusion lies you know with individuals as a matter of fact it was just about a week ago that i was having an argument with an individual about this um because i had mentioned the big top locals and they were saying that no they're called the big time locals you don't know your neighborhoods and what do what do what like you know what I mean? Like, they're two different neighborhoods, but, you know, people get them confused. Um, but they're both B BTLS, both homeboys, and both hold it down for their sections and, and do their thing. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, that's what's up with the big-time locals right here representing for the upstaters in uh, Tula County. Now, to find the next set of items that get confused for each other, we actually have to be maneuvering our way to the area of East... Los Angeles, East LA to be exact. See, this area is East LA. Like, I be telling people when they think about other uh, vitals like Bridge Street and White Fins and stuff like that, that's Boyle Heights. This area right here is considered East LA, um, the east side of East Los. Uh, it's where we're able to find this next barrios, this next set of vitals that gets confused for each other. Um, it's where we're able to find the barrio East Side. HKS. HKS translating to Barrio Eastside Hicks. Eastside Hicks is a well established barrio that has already been right here, uh, well established um, since the 70s, I was told. Um, and this barrio is, you know, not a large neighborhood. Um, but it has already been right here doing its thing. And it's in the danger zone, bro, because right there is literally surrounded by all kinds of barrios, homie. Like, it's, it definitely be cracking in this area. You know, you got the Centennial Boys, you got the Little East Sides, you got Juarez Maravilla, Pomeroy, Gage Maravilla. As a matter of fact, they're surrounded by pure Maravillas. You know, they're surrounded by their rivals. <laughs> it, it definitely gets chaotic right here, you know what I mean? And the barrio uh, Hicks Street, East Side Hicks Street, you know, no finish to the other Hicks, um, is a neighborhood that got its name due to the fact that it is located here on Hicks Street. And I realize it's an avenue, but it's a street, same thing. Hicks, that is why it's named Hicks, because it's named after the street in which they're located at, on Hicks. But their territory essentially is everything um, that extends uh, what's, well, pretty much the heart of their hood, their main domain, their dojo, is on City Terrace and Hicks. But their territory is everything that's from City Terrace all the way to um, Alma, um, Alma, the territory extends all the way to Winter and Winter all the way to Townsend and back around. So everything that's in the middle throughout Dittman, throughout Higgs, throughout uh, Dennis, throughout Blatch, uh, Blatchard Street, that is considered the Barrio Higgs territory. It's not a large amount of territory, but nonetheless, it's their territory. And not only here are they located uh, within um, the, the East Los Angeles area, but they have a, a, a branch also in the south side of Los Angeles by the Maywood area, um, you know, a more smaller city over there uh, but it's the same one as this one uh, so yes those south side hicks and east side hicks are the same hicks um, those are the same ones um, and this barrio is least set from what I was told a few hundred members to them um, because you know they did have other uh, you know crews that that got into their barrio you know like the AICs that were a tag band crew that ended up becoming a part of their neighborhood and several other crews that you know you know, got into the Hicks neighborhood, uh, you know, before people be like, nah, there can't be that many of them. And what do bro want to hear? Hey, you may not like it, bro. Facts over feelings on me right here. We don't come to wolf it. We only come to tell it how it is. The East side Hicks is a real barrio and no connection to the other Hicks neighborhood. Uh, just a similar name. And this Hicks street still remains right here. And yes, we didn't the same, you know, um, you know, we said this one's, uh, E S H K S, you know, um, the East side Hicks. Now, to find a doppelganger of the Eastside Hicks neighborhood, we actually have to be traveling to the San Gabriel Valley, the SGV. You already know the San Gabriel Valley, home to, you know, iconic neighborhoods. Dozens and dozens of old school sets um, reside within the area of the SGV. Now, to be more exact, we shall be maneuvering our way to the area of El Monte, now, I know people are familiar with El Monte, um, the area obviously more infamous for El Monte Flores uh, being the largest neighborhood within El Monte. But there's many, many neighborhoods in the city of El Monte from Northside Monte, El Monte Flores, El Monte Hayes um, to the El Monte Hicks Gang, the EMHKS um, or EMH. 
Um, now you see the um, E M H K S more because E M H is more of the El Monte Haynes. Um, so not to get confused with those. And like I said, um, this Hicks has no connection to the other Hicks. It just happens to be that they have the same name. Now, I had made a video already breaking down El Monte neighborhoods. And in that video, I got some people saying that, oh, you don't know your history, you don't know this, 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 and that. Um, so here's the proof, you know what I mean? Um, facts don't lie. Um, the areas of El Monte used to be broken down into camps, um, you know, back then. Um, and one of the camps was known as the Hicks Camp, uh, Campo Hicks. Um, you know, so therefore how they get their name, El Monte Hicks. Uh, they were one of the campos uh, that was started around the 1940s. So already an old school, old school barrio, you know. Now this barrio is still around. It's not as large as it used to be, but don't get it twisted. They're still deep. Um, their territory is everything that's from the lower Azusa Road. Um, from that, their territory extends all the way to um, Arden. Arden, their territory extends all the way to Hickson and Hickson back around. So everything that's throughout um, Esto Avenue, um, Frank Mound, Glen, uh, Glenford, um, um, uh, uh, Haver Haverly, Haverly Street, um, uh, Halifax Road, all of that is considered their barrio, but the heart of their hood, their domain, their dojo is on um, what's um, Gidley, Gidley Street, so that's Gidley and Esto Avenue, that's their domain right there where the school's at, the elementary, so throughout those back ends, that's the heart of El Monte Hayes territory. And this neighborhood is roughly a few hundred members to them because they're an old school barrio. And yes, this barrio started before the other Hicks uh, because the other Hicks started in the 70s. These guys have been around since the 40s. So they're the larger and oldest of the two Hicks neighborhoods. Like I said, they have no connection. It's just, you know, similar names. You know, that tends to happen. Um, but yeah, this is the El Monte Hicks right here in the SGV. Now, to find the next set of barrios that get confused for each other, we actually have to be maneuvering our way to the area that is known as Orange County. You already know, the OC, definitely chaotic. And would you guys like to take a lucky guess of what part of Orange County we will be heading to? That's right. Santa Ana. Like, damn, Shadow, when we cover these neighborhoods, it's always Santa Ana, bro. I know, what can I say, bro? Santana cracks, my boy. There's just a gang of neighborhoods in this area. I, I know when I say that, there's a lot of neighborhoods. I know people will be like, nah, he's exaggerating or this and that. Nah, bro, there's a gang of barrios in Santana, homie. No, no bullshit. This shit cracks in Santana. Now, to be more exact, we shall be maneuvering our way to the west of Santana. The west of Santana's where we're able to find the next set of barrio that get confused for each other, which is known as the Barrio LHG. Barrio LHG translating to Barrio Little Hood Gang. Little Hood Gang is a well-established barrio that has already been right here established in the west of Santana. That's why you see it up uh, West Little Hill Gang. I mean, Little Hood Gang. See, even I become getting them confused. <laughs> um, and they write it the same as the other barrio. Same initials. Uh, they even sound the same. Um, and it's a trip because they both write the gang part at the end of their respective barrios. Uh, you know, you would think that at least that part would have been different. But no, they even write that, you know, similar. That's why these barrios get confused. And even I have made the mistake of getting these barrios confused. Um, like I said, just because, you know, it's a trip like that. The Little Hood Gang is uh, a neighborhood that's been well established here since the later 80s, early 90s when this neighborhood was established. So it's not as old as the rest of these barrios that are within this area. And just like its title, it is a little hood. You know what I mean? It has always been a small uh, barrio, but don't get it twisted. A small barrio that handled business, you know, that, that did real things. And their territory uh, is is within the uh, West Myrtle uh, neighborhood uh, right there, too. So it makes it even more chaotic, you know being everyone jam-packed in the same area because not only do you have the West Mortals there, but you have the uh, Central Mortals, you have the Highlands, you have the Townsend, you have Dogtown, you have uh, Savannah Street, you have Golden West. You have so many barrios within the area, bro, that it just makes it chaotic, period.
But their territory essentially is everything that's from uh, West Mortal Street all the way to um, uh, Hay uh, Haley Street. Uh, Haley Street, their territory extends all the way to Mark or uh, Monte Vista Avenue and uh, to Townsend and back around. Uh, so everything that's throughout, you know, uh, Wood Street and uh, um, um, w w Willet Willets. Uh, is their territory. So that's uh, Wood Street and, and Willits. Um, that's the heart of their barrio, their domain, their dojo. A small barrio, you know, like it says, you know what I mean? Little, little, um, little hood uh, right there, you know, um, throughout a uh, uh, sh uh, sh uh, Shelly. There you go. I said Helly. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Shelly and Mark uh, Street is where their barrio is at. Like I said, a small batch of, you know, territory is valid, at least from what I was told, is said to be about 50 members to them. Um, so a little, you know, little hood, but nonetheless, real individuals that do real things. Um, as a matter of fact, they even have uh, a rapper um, that used to rap with a uh, uh, Westside Cartel. Um, you could check out his music. You know, he's on the Westside Cartel albums. He gets down. You know, I think his name was Lefty, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, you know, you can scope out his music right here on YouTube. Talented individual. And, you know, he represents right here for the Little Hood Gang uh, in the OC. So it is a real barrio uh, that did their thing and, and continue to still be established. Now, the other barrio that gets confused for the Little Hood Gang. Uh, for this barrio, we actually have to be traveling to the area of the SGV. The San Gabriel Valley, bro. You already know, bro. The SGV definitely cracks. Now, to be more exact, we shall be maneuvering our way to the area of Puente. Um, San Jose Hills, or, you know, however you want to refer to it. Uh, you know, I know there's people that say it's Puente, it's San Jose Hills. However you want to say it, you know, either one is, you know, appropriate, you know, within the area. To find the barrio... LHG, just like the other barrio, but this one is called the Little Hill Gang. Little Hill, Little Lomas, a Little Hill. Um, now, the Little Hill Gang is already a barrio that's been well established here since the 70s, that it was established uh, within this area of, you know, Puente, you know, throughout uh, what's um, Maine, uh, throughout uh, Villa Park, throughout uh, Laura, um, you know, that that's, you know, stretches through throughout the barrio. So that's like Main Street and... Uh, 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 Sally's, um, you know, uh, in you, in your street, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you know, I know people would say, yeah, well, that's Puentes, you know, city of Puente. I know, bro, but technically the area is referred to as San Jose Hills, but you know, it is what it is. Now the little hill gang is well established here. Um, and it's not as old school as some of these vatos like Puente neighborhood. you know, obviously they were more smaller, but don't get it twisted, homie. These individuals did their thing. Now they're not as small as the little hood gang. This gang actually, you know, does have numbers, at least from what I was told is this vatos are roughly a few hundred members to them. So, uh, you know, unlike, unlike their counterparts, this vato actually does have, you know, heads to them, you know, um, like I said, but it's not as large as, you know, the rest of the vatos in the SGV that are in the thousands um, but yet they still do their thing. They handle their business. They maintain right there and always been right there holding it down. Now, the barrio consists of what's um, La Via uh, Puente apartment plexes. For those who are familiar, they're kind of like they're kind of like project type apartments. It's a big, you know, apartment uh, complex, uh, kind of like project sort of, but they're not projects. Um you know, that's their territory, that's their domain, that's their apartment places where they handle business, you know, where they've been handling business. Uh, a real vato that does real things. Now, maybe people are familiar with this vato because, you know, it was uh, featured in the High Power documentary, the uh, um, No Warning Shots. Um, yes, the same Little Hill Gang. And like I said, the other one being Little Hood Gang, there's being Little Hill Gang. Nothing in common, just, you know, similar names and, you know, same abbreviations, same in their uh, graffiti, their tattoos. Uh, that's why you can see people getting it confused, you know, LHG, LHG. Uh, but they're two different, completely different barrios. Um, one residing here in the SGV, the other one residing in Santana, OC. Um, but you can see, you know, why people make the confusion. You know, they just see the lettering and similar sound. that They just be thinking that, oh, now you're pronouncing it wrong or whatever. But nah, they're different barrios. Um, and this one still continues to be active and holding it down for theirs and representing for the Little Hill Gang.